And here they are back from the paint shop. I've just started, this is the one that's gonna go on first. I've just started taping it up. I had a good tip there from Matt on Instagram. It's the sort of thing I kind of neglect is, well, I'm very good at making or not taking good care of like new parts and stuff like that and end up just been getting scuffed and stuff. So I've taped all up the kind of the cosmetics face and uh, doing the rest of that now before I fit this one. Um, it's kind of interesting to see, uh, you know, there's a bit, it's a bit bobbly with the galvanizing here, but so be it, I'm not gonna lose much sleep. I did originally see there was like bits of rough bits around the hinges, but it doesn't matter, they get covered up. Um, the same down here. on this bit but uh, on the whole it's very smooth you know you see a few imperfections that you probably wouldn't have seen beforehand you know, the rough bit there and things like that and uh, you know particularly this one this one's actually got a, I can't see it particularly well through there there's a couple of high spots if I'd spent more time going over this maybe I could have filed these down or something but uh, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that actually because this was, uh, well, it was a cheaper job. It was about, this was 140 quid to get these painted. And the other quotes I'd had were over 300. So this was just, uh, you know, I wanted this done just to, just to get paint on it really. Um, so that it wasn't fresh galvanizing because I'm not really going for a rebuild at this point. It's always fun and wrapping new parts. So there, so most, it's funny this part, most of it isn't going to be seen, but it's good to know it's got the protection. Um, yeah, very good. This bit will get seen. This bit will get seen. I'm not going to carpet this like the other. Like it was previously. That was just horrendous. I hate carpet defenders. Just gets wet and disgusting and never dries out and rots your vehicle. So that looks good. Put this tape on all the painted bits. Well, not all the painted bits, but a lot of the painted bits to protect it because mm. Daddy normally scratches new paintwork when he gets it. Ah. He's a klutz. Yeah, yes, but the painted things are really nice. Oh, thank you. Good to know. Yes, but what's this thing over here? That's the tripod. Remember, you went and you were playing with it, and I had to go and find it from where you hid it. Yeah, yes, Tom's playing different five-by-five things with it. No, you can see it's sand tape, Dad. Yeah. Is this, is this called masking tape? What's that masking tape? Masking tape is for masking things off. So it's, you feel that, it's like paper. It's not plastic. Really yeah, it's not plastic. Yeah, yeah. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will be saying, Will! Why have you painted these short and white when your Defenders are 1997? It's very clearly an Alpine white. Well, to that I would say that eventually I want my Defender to be short and white, proper rest of the world spec. And well, might as well start as I mean to go on. This is short and white. It's very difficult to, to figure out what colors are like. On the screen it looks quite whitey, but it's quite creamy when I look at it in this light, but you only really tell the difference when you put it up against uh, the original color. So it'll probably look a bit off, but I'm not too worried about that either, actually. But yeah, as I say, I'm expecting to repaint every panel on the, on the vehicle at some point, probably in slow time, you know, doors, bulkheads, you know, individually replacing parts. And, uh, and even if this paint could be a bit better, then at least it's a good base coat to start with that I can get it, you know, 
this flushed over with the rest of the vehicle. Some point in the future, who knows? But uh, yeah, start as you to go on, as they always say. I will be putting these uh, side frames onto the vehicle in a later video. But for the moment, I'll just go over all the surfaces with the camera and you can see what the paint has turned out like. I think it's pretty good. There's a few high spots, as I said. And um, considering it was relatively cost effective paint job, I think it will do quite well, to be honest. So the rest of this video is just going to be uh, me going around the camera. You'll be able to see the trying to get some of the reflections there so you can see the, the sm how smooth the surface is. Anyway, I hope to bring you the video of me fitting these soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.